Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the brand new Natasha Denona Mini Glam Eyeshadow Palette. So if you would like to hear my thoughts on this palette as well as see a little tutorial on how I got the look that I'm wearing today, then just keep watching. So this is my second time filming this review because I got a new camera, so I hope the quality is better first and foremost, but I got a new camera and I didn't plug my mic all the way in because I don't know how to use it, so the audio on the one I just recorded, it's just completely not there. So take two, obviously a new background too, I have spent my holiday break completely just reorganizing my makeup area to try and make it a better experience in my videos and all of that. Super excited to finally be filming and have my area ready to create some videos. I haven't purchased any makeup in the last few weeks. That's a lie. I definitely bought Pat McGrath's entire Star Wars collection recently. <laughs> until this guy came up. I just feel like it's off season for new makeup and nothing really interests me, but of course, when Natasha releases something, you know I have to pick it up. So this is called the Mini Glam Eyeshadow Palette. It is available right now to purchase on Sephora.com. If you are new to my channel, I own basically every palette that Natasha Denona has, so I am very well acquainted with her formula. And the tea on these little guys is that they are too good to be true because $25 versus $100 plus for her regular palettes does seem too good to be true. These are known to be quite inconsistent in that some palettes are really good and some are really bad and they just don't line up with the formula of her regular line. And something also to note is that the value per gram on this is horrible compared to her full-size eyeshadow palette. So that's just something to keep in mind. Nonetheless, it is definitely much more palatable to spend $25 for a Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette versus $160, if you know what I'm saying. Online, this is described as a palette of matte, metallic, and sparkly, cool-toned, golden taupe, and neutral shades for the ultimate glam look or the perfect everyday look. The packaging of this is similar to all of her other mini eyeshadow palettes. I love the mini eyeshadow palettes. I love the idea behind them. I love the clear top so that you can see the colors. Uh, it's not fancy packaging by any means but it works and it gets the job done you have the five little pans uh, no magnetic closure or anything but honestly this is quite sturdy for what it is i think it's a very nice packaging and it's not too fancy and it just works on the back It'll tell you the names of the palettes, of course, Natasha Denona's information. This is made in Italy, which is awesome. Italy makes some really good products. Of course, we have the five shades. They definitely range in that more cool-toned kind of color scheme. This is more of like a golden taupey kind of shade, a light sand color, dark metallic smoky brown, a dark matte brown, and a light champagne color. Finishes here, you have two mattes, two regular shimmers, and then this one is kind of that metallic sparkly form formula, which I will get more into what that means later on in the video. Overall, how the color swatched was very, very nice. I would say the matte colors swatched the most skippy, but it still wasn't bad. I can tell you right now, based on how they applied to the eyes, that's not an issue. And the shimmers swatched absolutely stunning. I just want to show you here how buttery smooth this swatch is with no issue. So right away, I can tell you just from swatching that this is her good eyeshadow formula. This is quite consistent across the board. This shade right here, which is more of a metallic color, you will see that it does flake a little bit more, but it still applies a lot to the eyelid, which is very nice. I think application in this particular palette is quite foolproof. Something that I noticed when I applied the eyeshadows to my eyelid is that the shimmer shades work well with a finger or a brush. I feel like using your finger is kind of cheating with a lot of palettes. You can tell a truly good shimmer formula based on the fact that you can use your fingers and a brush to apply it however your heart desires. As far as the color story goes, it's not the most unique. I definitely could dupe this entire palette. In fact, I could probably dupe it within Natasha Denona's line. However, it's really nice to have it all in one for this little tiny travel palette. And it's a great way to try out Natasha Denona's formula if you haven't tried out her formula. If you're looking for a Natasha Denona palette that you don't wanna spend a lot of money on and these are colors that you're going to use, this is a great option for you. The formulation in here is consistent 
consistent with her formula. If you have a lot of eyeshadows, you don't need it, but it's really nice to have. It's very good quality. And these are colors that I personally am very comfortable with and I know I will be grabbing a lot for myself. What I also love is the mixture of finishes that she chose. I like that there's a regular transition color, a outer corner depth color, and then you have three different depths of shimmers for whatever kind of look you want to create. So I really like the ratio of finishes that she chose. So really quickly, I am going to show you how I got this eye look. I originally had filmed it while talking, but of course my audio wasn't working, so we're gonna talk over it now. So the first shade that I took is this color right here. I used it as a really light beigey transition shade very great for light skin once we get into the medium skin tone this is more of just kind of a setting color it's not necessarily going to add any depth and then deeper skin tones range this isn't a very good transition color but for lighter skin tones this does work it is quite light and then I went in with the dark brown color and I applied that to the outer corner of my eyelid and I really blended that out to add the initial depth to the whole look it blended out very easily dark browns can be hit or miss this is a pretty good dark brown, not the best I've used, but it definitely works very well. I then took this middle shade right here, which is that grayy taupe kind of shade, and I applied that to my lower lash line. I just wanted to test out all of the colors in this palette, and that added the right amount of depth to the eye, and don't be afraid to put a shimmer color down there. They still look really good. Very smooth, very pigmented with application. On the outer half of my eyelid, I have then applied this color right here to the outer part of my lid. This one is more of a golden shade. It's a neutral gold. It's not too warm of a gold. Really gorgeous on the outer part of the lid. Again, I'm very impressed with how well that applied on a brush and then I finished off with this shade right here and this shade I was also very impressed by it had a lot of fallout because it is a lot more flaky but it adhered to the lid very easily and pigmented a lot of times you'll find with flaky shades they get everywhere except for your eyelid but no this stuck to the eyelid very well I just noticed that the consistency was different from the previous shimmers but it worked very well so very well done and it brightened up that part of my eyelid and super simple eye look and that's what I think is really great about this palette it is just so extremely everyday friendly if you're looking for a good work palette this is great you can easily transition your eye look into something for the evening it's foolproof as far as application goes everything applied really fantastic there are no weird formulas in here that Natasha was playing with because sometimes she'll play with new formulas and it's not good. This has none of those weird formulas. I don't think any of these shadows are going to hit hard pan anytime soon, which is something that happens with her shadows sometimes. So this is a good, solid palette. Nothing crazy unique, but the quality is there, and a lot of times that is what is the most important thing. So I think she did a really great job with this. I love that you have this selection of colors for an affordable price from Natasha. Um, I did pick out a couple five pan palettes that I feel like could be comparable to the mini glitter. So the first one that I chose was the mini nude. So this one has a similar color layout in that you have a transition shade, an outer corner shade, and then three different depths of shimmers. The shimmers in here are much more foiled and metallic and sparkly, which is something that you might prefer. I like a really sparkly lid, so that does kind of stand out to me. However, the shimmers in here are such a good, creamy, solid shimmer color that it's okay. Just something to note. Also, the tones in here are very different from what you can see. This palette runs a little bit more warm and golden, definitely. This one's a little bit more golden than this one. And then the other palette that I have to compare is the Camel palette. Now, this is her full-size eyeshadow palette and I would say the tones in here are kind of similar because the camel palette does not run extremely warm I would say the colors in here have a little bit more of a golden -y bronze kind of vibe for the look that you're going to get this palette is definitely more of a true neutral now that being said with these palettes you can probably get a similar look with all of them but just from swatching them side by side I didn't notice any repeats really and this palette does stand alone pretty well on its own me being a true neutral eyeshadow lover definitely am obsessed with this one so thank you guys so much for watching this video. I definitely recommend this palette for you guys if it is something that you are interested in. If you have any questions, make sure you ask them down below. I will definitely be sitting down and answering comments on this one. 
And yeah, if you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I hope you take the time to do so if you're interested. Thank you guys so much for watching me, taking the time out of your day to watch me. I really appreciate it. And I will see you in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.